Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Benita from Benita Doodles and today I'm just going to talk you through the process that I did with Paddy here who was a Newfoundland who sadly passed over the Rainbow Bridge. He was a really lovely, enjoyable picture to do actually and I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did because of one, the amount of fur on him and two, because of the style of the photo. Now there weren't many photos of him so we chose the best that was available. I made sure I turned him black and white on my phone because it was originally a colour photo. He has a lot of high contrast on his fur which makes it look very shiny and a certain amount of that I had to resist doing. He needed to be paired back a bit really so he didn't look quite so shiny but I still wanted to keep some of the shine to make sure that he still looked like he was sort of sat out in the sun really enjoying the weather. I want to apologise very quickly because the lighting changes quite dramatically. I did this over a course of a few days. It took nearly I think it was six and a half hours in total. And on one day, the lighting kept changing so much. It kept going in and out uh, with the, the sun kept hiding. Annoying little sun. And it meant then that there was very big dips in the lighting. So I do apologise about that. But if you are enjoying my videos and you do like what you see so far I go live every Wednesday so it's worth hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the live draw alongs or tutorials and I try and get a minimum of one video up a week so don't forget to hit the bell button for the notifications and also a thumbs up would be really really nice if you have enjoyed watching the video so far so as I said, Paddy had um, a few things that I needed to eliminate. He had leaves and things around the bottom of his feet and the bottom of his fur. I was asked to remove those. Um, it almost looked a little bit wet in some areas and we wanted to soften the whole fur feel. We didn't want to lose Paddy's personality, but we wanted to keep it as much looking like a photo as possible. And I'm really, really pleased with the outcome of him. Now, the, one of the reasons why I decided to specifically put this one up as not so much of a tutorial, but maybe an advisory, is that a lot of people panic when they look at furry dogs like this and think that they have to draw every single fur line that they think should be there. One of the things I say to my patrons all the time is you do not have to draw fur strokes everywhere if you see a solid color then that's what you draw i've always always pushed the fact that you need to draw what you see not what you think should be there so for example on the top of paddy's head here i purposely put the pan pastel down as a base because i knew it needed to be a solid black color i wanted to get the contrast on him so i used the pan pastel black to help me get it really really nice and dark so that way I could go a bit darker with my mid-tones and my highlights wouldn't have to be these stark whites. They could be much more of a lighter grey. It doesn't deter um, deteriorate, not the word I'm looking for. It doesn't pull away from Paddy being a furry dog just because you have a solid piece of colour. Now this patch actually looks very, very fluffy. When you look at it against the side of the longer fur, you can just imagine, you could just feel it. If you were to put your hand on his head and just rub his little head, that your hand would just be covered in this beautiful, beautiful black fur. Again, under his chin where there's a really, really strong shadow. Don't be afraid to have a solid color there, whether it be solid white, solid grey, solid black, solid blue, it doesn't matter. As long as it's looking like your reference and your solid colours are where they should be, don't be afraid. I think too many people are worried that it doesn't look realistic when you have a block of colour. Well, actually, it's the complete opposite. Sometimes it doesn't look realistic when you can see every single first stroke. It can look very stylized and almost cartoony. So, Put your brave pants, 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 pants. <laughs> Put my teeth in first. Put your brave pants on and have a go at just leaving some areas a solid colour. Just really, really look at your reference. Really pay attention to where your highlights, your midtones, and your shadows fall. Stop worrying about them being a foot, a tongue, a nose, and just think of them as ovals. Um, you know as triangles you know when you look at his tongue you basically got a triangle with a semicircle on the bottom 
but instead of thinking about it as a tongue you just really apply the color where you see the color so it's breaking it down in components rather than thinking about it as a whole dog these long furry doggies can be daunting but actually i find longer fur sometimes easier to do than shorter fur because shorter fur if you're not careful can actually have a lot of solid color and there can be areas where you have solid color next to solid color and you know sometimes you do have to have a bit of artistic license but with him because he had such long hair and he has such sort of i don't know um very contrast as i say very contrasty so his mid-tones and his lights were very bright against his darks but again i didn't want to lose that i wanted to keep that originality there and i wanted it to look like a photo i wanted to be as real as possible for his fur mama and fur daddy and i'm really pleased with the outcome i'm really pleased with how it came out i primarily used a 4b a 3b and i think occasionally i used a 6b can't remember now it was a little while ago and again i used the uh, pan pastel black which helped me just to get the darker tones as dark as possible if you have any questions about my technique please pop a you know question in the comment below i'm more than happy to answer them if i can and don't forget to come find me in my group bonita doodles art share and i'm happy to answer any questions in there as well i shall leave you to watch the rest of the video in peace and i shall see you on the next one mm -hmm.